Hello, Hello everybody, this is Glen Isle, and today we That's will be amazing. doing our tutorial on how to pyro shot. So you'll be learning tips, tricks, strategies, and how to avoid this. So for our loadout, we're going to be using the stock flamethrower for its air blast, so we can put out teammates. Our scorch shot because its explosive flares are great for something called baiting, which we will cover later. And the Neon Annihilator, because, you know, it crits in water. This wouldn't be pyro sharking without the Neon. We're going to be playing on CTF 2 Fork, which is a map I have very mixed feelings about. But it's a great map for pyro sharks because, as this handy little diagram shows, when they fall in the water, they have to go a long way to get out, and you have lots of time to run them down. Alright, so, first rule of pyro sharking is stay in the water. And, just as importantly, keep your enemies there. See, the scout followed me because I shot at him, and now I can try to take him out. Now remember, it's very important to try to run along the edges and in close space, because it's harder for them to hit you. Take a few pot shots, give them a sense of urgency, they'll get distracted and make mistakes. Now here is something really important. How to corner. See, the scout went long around the corner, they all do, and I cut it short so I was able to get in and swing on him. Now that last bit demonstrated two things that I want to talk about. First was how to run along the edges like this. And I'm going to slow this down and show you how big a difference it makes. See, I run along the edges here and most of his pellets miss me, you can really see it. Miss me entirely there barely hit me. Now if I had run down the center, all his shots would have hit and I'd have been dead long before I could do this. Now the second thing is how long people stay wet. See, I'm chasing this pyro here. Don't know how he didn't see me. Chase him up the stairs, he corners, and I'm able to hit him here even after he's been out of the water for a good five seconds. So people stay wet for a really long time. Remember that. I've got to get back to the main water area where I'm at my most powerful. I'm going to pick up the health because a little bit of health can make all the difference the in a fight with a melee weapon. The enemy has captured our intelligence. So, we head back to here and we're going to wait for some enemies to come in after us. Check the spy, would have followed him but he called out in the voice chat that he was not in fact the enemy. So, Alright, we're going to fast forward through this because not much happens and your time is precious. God, I love the sound of TF2 in fast motion. Just listen to that. Alright, so, let's see. Yep, let's go. So, you'll remember at the beginning when I was looking at our loadout, I said that the scorch shot was good for something called baiting. Now that's this. You're going to fire off shots with the scorch shot at areas where there's a lot of enemies and you're going to try to light them on fire and see if you can piss them off enough that they'll come running after you at which point they're in your domain and you can just smash their face in with the annihilator so now see we move out of fire and yep it worked there he is now you have to be very careful with demo knights because they're fast and they do a lot of damage and now some people would be mad at that engineer but I'm actually happy with it. See, having good teammates is really important to a pyro shark because they can save you in a pinch. See, if the NG hadn't been there, that demo might have gotten a good crit swing on me and I'd be dead now. So don't rage at people for stealing kills. They might have just saved your life. So here's the primary purpose for your flamethrower the pyro shark. Air blasting teammates. Just because you're power shark doesn't mean you have to totally abandon your normal duty. Put out your teammates. Now, I'm considering going after this guy, but, you know, he's actually pretty good. He's reflecting pretty much everything we throw at him, and I reckon my teammates can take him. Yep, he died. Good. So, now we're just going to go out to the water, wait for something to happen, do some baiting, and... See what happens. 
As the captain suggested, a while went by with not much happening, but now I've seen a scout, I'm gonna see if I can run him down. He might have too much of a head start. Yup, he's gone. I fire a flare. Too late. Head back to the water. Oh! Demo running means something bad. See a heavy? Get to the side. You attack head on, you always die. Keep in mind that one, medics are the most important target, and two, your neon is not always a one-shot kill. Several classes have more than enough health, so you gotta hit them twice. Alright, so here I'm heading back, I see the demo running. That could either mean he's low on health or there's something nasty. Come out, check, looks like he was just low on health. Or bored. Alright, take a few baiting shots. See if we hit anything. Nope, not on that one. Check out the tunnels. See if there's anything coming down the pipe. Pun intended. I just heard a demo charge. Head back to where it came from. Oh, jackpot! Bang. So, head out. Ooh. Medic and pilot. My friend took care of the medic. I saved him from the pilot. I see rockets flying, gonna do some more baiting, fire some shots, don't really hit much, do something splash down, spy check him, he's legit. So here we are baiting, and all of a sudden, you know something behind me, I really should have died there. That guy deserved the kill, he snuck up on me, that was, I walked there, he was just bad at hitting me. Alright, go back, bait a little more. See something splash down. Looks like it was just a body part. Oh, one of my teammates died, he should have jumped. Hit the sniper with a bait shot there, but you know, snipers never come. Just kidding. I see a couple guys splash down. One of them could be a spy, so I'm gonna follow them. Nah, they're the jet. They look legit. See a medic, I called out to my team, and one of my teammates said that, yeah, that's him, it's not a spy, so I don't have to go after him. Now, right there, I thought I saw a spy go in the water. It looked like it might have just been pullets, but I am suspicious. For a few more shots, but, yeah, something seems just a bit off there. I could have sworn I saw a spy. So, after taking a few more bait shots than I probably should have, I head off down the tunnel. So now that I'm in here, that demo man looks suspicious. Yup. Bye. Snag some health from the dispenser, and I'm gonna be on my way. Now one place the power shot really shines is when the intel falls in the water. See, even if you don't end up getting a lot of kills, just your presence there doing damage being a distraction can really help. Like here, that soldier chose to shoot at me, and the NG nails him with a crit. He probably would have just wiped him out if he hadn't been distracted by me. NG, there we go. That's what we do. Now, another big rule for pyro shots is avoid soldiers. Never ever follow a full health soldier who knows you're there into an enclosed area. Cause this happens. It was at this moment when I knew he fucked up. Stop. 
So now we're headed to Sawmill, which is probably the second best map for Pyro Sharks because there's so much water. I mean, water. Water. The entire Intel basement has water. So what really makes soldiers so dangerous is their health. 200 of it. Your Neon Annihilator does 195. Now I'm not saying you can't kill soldiers, you just have to do it when they've taken damage and haven't seen you. Like that. So anyway, the reason that Sawmill is good is again because of these basements. You can take out almost any class that comes to take your intel, like that, and then go right back to your little hiding spot, or you can be aggressive and try to take the enemies in. The wet basements make you really good at killing defenders, unless the defenders are something. So to recap, stay in the water, avoid soldiers, avoid sentry guns, put out your teammates, guard the intel, and have fun. This is Brunein signing off. If you like this video, like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, advice, or pleasant comments, leave them in the comments. See you next time. Why are you still here? The video's over. What, you think there's something hidden here? You expecting something? Well, fine. Here's a picture of a really expensive hat that neither of us will ever be able to afford. There. Now we're both annoyed.